she was persecuted. Bible verse of the day. O Lord of hosts, the judge righteously, that try the reins and the hearts. Let me see your vengeance of them on them. Jeremiah 11, 20. From the book, Breaking the Bread of the Word, series number eight. Old Testament reading from Jeremiah 11, 18 to 20. Presents the persecuted Jeremiah entrusting his cause to God. Jeremiah was appalled to realize that his enemies were making plots against his life. They wanted to kill him so that he would stop proclaiming God's message and thus he be forgotten by all. He was a vulnerable, a trusting lamb taken out to be killed. Jeremiah therefore prayed to God, who is a just judge and who probes one's thoughts and feelings to vindicate him, his death threat caused the suffering Jeremiah to reflect on the meaning of life and his mission as a prophet. The figure of Jeremiah as a rejected and persecuted prophet points to Jesus, the suffering servant of Joab. The disciples of Jesus Christ continue to live out the pathos of persecution and rejection. The modern day martyrs like Jeremiah and Jesus place their cause in the hands of God. Francis Xavier Bantan, Testimony of Hope, Boston, Pauline Books and Media, 2000, page 113. Martyrs for the Faith, the American Catholic Bishop of Martin, Monsignor Maloyan, a man of peace, was unjustly accused, arrested, and forced to march at length with a contingent of Christians. Some proposed that he renounce his faith in order to save himself. He responded, we will die, but we will die for Jesus. He died a martyr with his faithful in 1925. Martyrs for ethnic hatred. At the seminarian of Buddha in a Brundi tormented by ethnic wars. Forty Hutu and Tutsi seminarians were massacred together on April 30, 1996, by Hutu guerrillas. They had been told to divide themselves into two groups, Hutus and Tutsi. By doing so, the Hutus would have saved their lives, but they but they refused to separate themselves from their companions and all were killed. We cannot describe the wonders of grace in so many of our brothers and sisters whose suffering is known only by God. Brothers and sisters, we will not forget you. Second reading, based on this story, will help you understand the Gospel of John. 7, 40 to 53. The controversy continues to swirl around Jesus as to whether he is the Messiah. The crowd is divided, some enthused, and he is the prophet. Others believe he is the Messiah, but others refute this, arguing that the Messiah will not come from Galilee, but from David's line, from Bethlehem. Others want to arrest him but no one lays a hand on him. As the storm of hostility gathers, we see some people making an effort to defend him. The temple guards' orders to arrest Jesus come back empty-handed because his word touched them. They report to the chief priests and Pharisees, never before has anyone spoken like this one. The religious leaders scorn them for being so easily deceived encouraged by the action of the guards, the closest Christians. Nicodemus made an effort to defend Jesus by reminding the chief priests and Pharisees that according to the law, they cannot condemn a person before hearing him and finding what he has done. He's honest. He's honest. He's 
his honest effort to protect Jesus. However, is of no avail. Lent is a time to dwell into our Christian duty to make a defense for Jesus. Courage and fortitude are given by God to those who opt to stand by Jesus Christ when our faith is challenged. The following article gives insight into the courage of those who chose to stand by Jesus. March 17 Reflection in Daily Guideposts 20. 10 page 88 saint patrick is one of the handful of saints that everyone seems to know by name we all know about the parades concerts and parties that are held today to commemorate him and celebrate the art irish heritage and most of us know according to legend he drove the snakes out of ireland But the stories that have come down about him are much richer than that. His life was full of contests with the Druids, the Celtic magician priests who opposed his attempts to spread, the, to spread Christianity in Ireland. In one story, Patrick resolved to celebrate Easter on the hill of Slain in what is today County Meath. He climbed to the top of the hill and lit the Paschal fire. The king of Ireland was holding a festival in his palace across the way, and it was the custom that no fire should be lit unless one was first seen lit at the royal house. So when king druids saw Patrick's fire, they said to the king, unless... Unless this fire is quenched tonight, it will never be quenched. And the one who kindle it will seduce all the people of your realm. So the king took nine chariots and drove to the hill of Slain. When Patrick saw the chariots, he quoted Psalm 27. 27. The Druids challenged Patrick, but Patrick was up to the task, and he converted at least one of them on the spot. Then a Patrick's prayer, darkness, fell, and the earth quaked, and the Druids and the chariots fled. What stands out for me in the story of Patrick's confidence is his assurance that no matter what, what the challenge he would prevail. It was a confidence that rested not on any abilities of his son, but on his faith in God, who is always able to do the unexpected. The unexpected. Am I ready to stand by Jesus and make a defense by faith? Let's meditate on this one. Am I ready to stand by Jesus and make a defense for by faith? What experience do, do you have of being persecuted for the sake of your faith? What does it mean to entrust one's cause to God? Ask the Holy Spirit to guide you to answer those questions. Prayer, loving Jesus, help me to stand by you. Give me strength to make a defense for my faith and to defend the weak and defenseless. Help me to trust in your power. In the hour of darkness, please give me light. In the hour of fear, be my comfort and protection. Grant that the voice of truth and the power of speak to speak for justice. Teach me to share your saving word to the nations. You live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Contemplative prayer. The following is the bread of the living word that will nourish us throughout the day. Please memorize it. To you, I have entrusted my cause. To you, Lord, I have entrusted my cause. Jeremiah 11.20 So, give everything to the Lord. The reins in, in your heart. And let God take care of everything. Surrender, surrender to God everything and trust Him. 
action by yourself giving and personal dedication to daily duties replicate in your life the loving sacrifice of Jeremiah and Jesus. And remember, not only Jeremiah was persecuted, but all the saints have been persecuted. Padre Pio was persecuted. St. Patrick was persecuted. St. Faustina Kowalska was persecuted. St. Joseph was persecuted. You name it. Every saint suffered persecution in different ways. So, if you're struggling right now and you are being persecuted for your faith, remember, God will take care of you and God will never leave you. He's with you at all times, and he will send his angels to protect you. And in the description box, I will leave a link of a book that will help you. And someone that will help you when you're being persecuted. And that someone is a saint. He, he was on earth the protector of the Holy Family. I'm going to leave a link to the to a book from Father Donald Calloway, The Spiritual Wonders of Our Spiritual Father, St. Joseph. He will take care of you when you're being persecuted. He will take care of your family. And it doesn't matter what's going on at this time what will matter is that at the end God will take care of you and you will be just fine so may the Lord bless you and those who you love and on the next video I will be talking about the resurrection and the life because you want to have that resurrection and go to heaven one day. I do. I don't know about you, but we all want that. So may the Lord bless you and those who you love. And remember, at the end of the book of, of the consecration to St. Joseph, the wonders of our spiritual fathers, in there you will have a prayer after you have got, uh, done all the readings and you can consecrate yourself to the care of the one that took care of Jesus on earth, St. Joseph. And he continues to take care of all of us here on earth who call upon his divine help. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen.